The College for Creative Studies, which we call CCS, is an art and design school located in Detroit, Michigan. We have 11 majors. We have um, right around 1,350 students. Generally, the students that are attracted to CCS are students that are very passionate and very driven. You know, we're very pragmatic CCS, and I really like that aspect of the school. So we're attracting here. When I say pragmatic, that is, you know, we teach people life skills in addition to their art. You know, how to be a well-rounded and a good person. I love the city of Detroit. I grew up here in Detroit. I think CCS is a vibrant community. I think it brings a real pulse to the city. I think there's a rawness to Detroit. I think there's a rawness to these kids. There's an edginess. There's a real beauty in the way that everybody here on campus works together. The minute you walk in the door, you're jumping on a moving train. Students quickly learn that if they're gonna get the work done they need to, they ha typically are not gonna sleep. So that's, that's something that I had to come to terms with my freshman year. I remember the first time I pulled an all-nighter and how big of a deal it seemed at that time. I was just so filled with this desire to be able to take real academic rigor with real deep rest and bring that together. Quite unapologetically, this institution puts people under a lot of stress. Stress at an art school. For a lot of people, that seems contradictory. Most people think of people painting freely and, you know, creating things and, and just having a lovely, fun time. You can give a deadline to have a paper done, and you can write a paper and you can turn it in and it can be done. But how do you give a deadline for a painting to be done? And to have that stress of, I need to do this creative process, which should come naturally, but I have to force it to come out maybe today because I have to get this painting done, can create a lot of stress. The level of sleepless children in this school, is, it's ridiculous. How can you be creative when you can't even think straight? So the need for our students to have some way to calm themselves, to focus, to prioritize, to just get in touch with what's truly important to them is immense. I love teaching so much. And just increasingly over the years since I've been teaching, I feel that my students more and more and more are coming to school with so much stress. Nobody's taught them, well here, you need to take this time to relax and here's how you can do it. So I think we've reached that point that it does have to be taught. When I came out of my first meditation, I knew right away that it was going to be something that I would carry with me for the rest of my life. I helped Molly in the process to bring this to CCS because I was, you know, I was just really passionate about other students feeling what I was feeling because she's been adamant about doing this for just years and years. This class addresses the epidemic of stress in this country by offering students the opportunity to be quiet. All of them have had that experience accidentally, but this class offers them a systematic tool to take themselves there twice a day, every day. It's a technique that allows for the settling of the mind to happen very easily. It's a simple routine that you add to your life that you can do with, within, no matter how active or busy you are. I was scheduling my classes, and then I saw a paper on the side, and it said, consciousness and creative bliss. And I was like, I'm taking that class, like, you know, that's for me. I originally wanted to take Molly's class because I heard that we would be learning TM. And um, I've always wanted to, always wanted to learn how to meditate. I never really had the option. It's a class to actually help you almost find yourself and like know who you are as a person. We talk about topics that you know, have to do with society and culture and sociology and identity. We had these really great conversations about how the world is and perceptions. So we have lecture, and we meditate together, and then we talk and we laugh, and we have a really good time. But I really leave the meditation aspect of the class up to the TM teachers. I'm not teaching anybody how to meditate. I'm running an academic class. The reason I think TM lends itself so well to institutions is that the body of research is no longer anecdotal. It is vast, it is broad, and it is replicated many, many, many times over. It's um, been tested to work 
It's something that is a process that is valuable for uh, many creative uh, people. Meditation is a way of being able to deal with a high level of stress in a calm, measured, quiet way. After you get into the routine of things, it definitely helps with stress, like a lot. I read the scientific stuff about it, and it just seemed really intriguing. It seemed like something that I wanted to do. It seemed like something that would really help me out. It's not that far out of an idea to like sit down twice a day and just, you know, it's very relaxing. You come out of it and you just feel great. It's like you just took a two hour nap. Just knowing that it was only 20 minutes to just like meditate, and then after that, just feel so good about it. That just blew me away. I started noticing in the first week that ideas started flowing again. Things were coming naturally. I didn't have to force ideas. They were just sort of flowing in. They need to have a means to be able to tap into the deep resources of their souls, in some cases, to get to that creative spot. You know, a course like Molly's course helps them to access, you know, go, go past whatever that block is and, and to access you know, that, that internal information that they need to be able to get back into their whole creative uh, journey. The main thing about it that I liked was that it was going to provide students with a way to become more resourceful and reliant on themselves and how to deal with stress or difficult situations that are going on in their life on their own in, and not, not solely on their own, but just better on their own. And if we could figure out a way to teach our students that before they graduate, while they're here at CCS, I, I just thought that would be an amazing thing. Since I've started TM, I've definitely noticed a lot of different changes, both on a small scale and large scale of myself. I feel like I've never been organized my entire life, and I feel like I'm slowly getting organized, which is probably good, being that I'm going out into the working world soon. I definitely have been a lot chiller though. Like when something breaks in the glass department now or like a cup falls on the floor, I'm just like, mm, okay, move on, you know? Like I've definitely like used to get kind of upset about that kind of stuff. I feel like a new me and I'm purely happy from it, like just truly happy. My great joy is hearing of a couple of students say, I just feel happy. And I think, I'm not even sure they know how much they're learning. But that's what education should be about. I'm happy to be learning. <laughs>